I'm going to model another um, object for my sci-fi scene. Uh, and the inspiration for these is coming from um, a website called tinyfurniture.com. And they have very kindly given me permission to uh, use their uh, models as inspiration to, uh, to do some, some modeling here in Blender and to sort of try and recreate uh, some of them. All right, so uh, I definitely want to give a shout out to them. All right, this is going to be like a sort of a sci-fi desk and drawers. Um, you'll see what I'm getting at. All right, so it's from top view, I'm going to shift a mesh circle and I'll go for um, maybe 24 vertices. Okay, so I'm going to edit mode, vertex, and I'm going to uh, take these and I'm going to delete them. I'm going to take these and I'm going to extrude them back. Let's turn on this. It's easier for me to do it this way. Come back to around there. I have to make face. Select it all. F. I'm going to look from the front. E to extrude and give this some thickness like that. So I've got that piece. Right away, I'm going to come in and uh, put a bevel on this. I'm going to shade smooth and I'm going to switch over to angle and I think that'll look probably okay I hope now um, I want a piece under here that curves so here we go from the front I'm going to go shift A mesh circle I'm going to use the same I'm going to rotate X 90 And I'm going to make it bigger. And what I want to do is I want to get rid of all of these. I think all of these to about there. I want it swooping down. Let's give this a try. And then we'll try it from there. E to extrude. And I'm going to come back. I'm going to scale X0 doesn't have to come right to the end. I'm going to do that and I think I'm going to take these bottom ones and extrude them down a little bit flatter. Like that. Okay, let's look from the side. And I'm going to give it some thickness like this. I don't have to come right out to the end. And this. Is that what I want to do? No, that didn't work, did it? Oh, that was funny. Mm hmm. I should remember to do it in wireframe, shouldn't I? All right, let's center this out. And then just scale this whole thing in the Y. Okay, that might be a little... Yeah, okay, we'll go with that. And we're going to add a subdivision surface of two on this. And then we're going to start adding edge loops. Let's put one there and control B and pull it out. And let's add one at the top. And back, uh, let's see. Now we're going to do one up here. And back here. Probably get rid of the bottom actually. Control plus. And I think I'm going to make it a little bit narrower than that. Okay, cool. I want one like that. Okay, so to do the next part, I think I'll bring in a curve path. Do 
do it like this. Maybe like that. Let's see if I get rid of that one. I might like it like that. All right, so I'm going to take that and I'm going to convert this to a mesh. I'm not going to worry about the number of polys. Select it and extrude it back. I'm going to scale X zero. No, you can't see that. I'll go to wireframe. Look at that. Give it some thickness here. Bring it down into the middle roughly. Scale it in the Y. I just want to let's see what that's gonna look like. So we're gonna do subdivision surface on this guy as well. And let's see what thing. Bevel like this. Or yeah, bevel like that. And an edge there. Is here. It's really not going to be seen, but just, just for the fun of it. I better just have it a ton. Let's hide that and then let's get rid of this. Control plus, yeah, it's okay. Alright, take it back. We'll get rid of some of these back ones. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this face here, shift D and bring it out, P to break it out, and I'm going to create another piece of uh, the model out of that, and it'll be the same width. So I'm just going to extrude it out a ways, as if it's sort of a modular game piece. Okay, it's going to have the same bevel as the top, that's fine, and I'm going to create like a little bookshelf under here drawers is what I really mean to say and I might do it separate I'm not sure I think I will P to break it out and take that guy again um, I'm gonna actually bring it down so we can see this thing Hopefully that's tall enough. I'm a little concerned about that. This piece is going to go right up into here though. Oh well, that's going to be a short one. Okay. Out to there. And uh, let's see, we have a little space in between. A little drawer there, a little drawer there. What are we doing with our bevel? Okay. Let's take these and, I don't know if I copied them, no. Okay, let's shift D, take them. Let's break them out. Bring them back. And that might actually be okay just like that. Probably didn't need them. Bring them out just a little bit like that. And then come in. Shift D and scale to make a handle. P 
sure you can zoom in and focus on that. Extrude it out. Delete that face. Select here, Control L. Rotate X 180. So you can go back in as a handle. Maybe I'll scale that in the Z a bit thicker. Shift D. whole thing feels uh, a bit wide to scale this in the X. Okay, and then an edge selection, I'm going to grab those two edges, and I, well, maybe I'll do the back ones as well, just to have that. Control B, and just keep watching the bevel, put them up nice, like that. like that. Now, on this bevel, I can experiment with none, an angle, arc, and that might look better for those uh, corners. Also, if I have some blemishes here, or uh, artifacts, or whatever, I can try weighted normal, and let's see. Like that any better? I don't think it'll be a problem in the render. I'm just looking at this and wondering, I'm just wondering here. If I was to move this, how round does that make that? Okay. Would I want to try beveling this? in a similar way. Back would be rounded, the end the other end wouldn't. I think it might be alright. And now as I look at this I think it looks too narrow. this stuff okay <laughs> get in there So I could have that, and then you could take this piece, Shift D, and I could rotate Z 180 if I wanted to, and have it at the end if I wanted that effect. What I was really thinking though was this. I made a little mistake here. Um, rotate Z 90 minus. Here's what I really wanted to do. And so now what I would do is I come back in here and I'll, I'll take this uh, face right here, Shift D, P to break it out. And uh, extrude it out. move this guy out of the way a little bit. There we go. Alright, let's use snapping. Let's snap to edge. 
you know, the bevel it sometimes doesn't work that well so let's turn the bevels off on these things and then I can do that better For this guy, what I'm going to do is select that bottom face, Shift D, break it out, scale it a bit, I'll bring it up, and I'm going to extrude this down. I'll delete that face, and I'll take the edges. This is extending too far, so we'll just make a final few adjustments. Let's see if I take this and pull it back. Did I miss something in here? It looked like I did for a second. And I guess you want it to stand. I kind of wouldn't mind moving this stuff forward. Let's just have a look at this and see if that's what I like. Um, yeah, I think I like that better, and so I'm just going to take this and delete it, and take all of this shifty, rotate Z90 minus, nope, rotate Z90. Again, if the, the, the shading looks odd, I could put weighted normal on and auto smooth. And I think that makes it look a little bit better. Weighted normal, auto smooth for that. I think, what about this one? These ones too, maybe, eh? Yeah, I think so. Select everything. Go into edit mode, select it all. All then. Calculate outside just in case. So that's what that ends up looking like. Um, just a simple prop to be used, uh, potentially. <laughs> you could put some things on top of there, uh, obviously. And uh, yeah, that's it. Something nice and simple and quick. Cool.